try to limit the amount of hits. He's had a rough go that so far this year. Let's see if he can turn it around in this one. Now batting, Dave Parker. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 1-1 home. Here's a fastball now that's hit softly down the line to third. A dive, but he can't make the play, and it's down the left field line. Hey, sometimes that's how a rally gets started right there. I know it's that a soft exactly. liner, but leadoff that's man on usually poses Jeremy. problems. Peña. Now a throw over to first, and he'll get back in standing. Standing in now, Jeremy Pena. And here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. Hit softly down the line at first. And that's out number one. Batting third, the first baseman, Willie Stargell. In now, Willie Stargell. Nine at-bats for him in the series so far, and he's collected a pair of hits. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball, two and two. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. You would think in this situation, maybe with a base open, he'd just pitch around him and put him on first. But not with the guy in the on-deck circle. He's going to attack this hitter. Now the payoff pitch home. He oh. loses him on ball four. I'm sure the manager is fine with that. He tried to entice him with that 3-2 pitch, but he didn't take the, the bait. Base First base was open, Labor. though, so he just needs to make a good Go pitch for a ground ball. Stepping in, Labor Torres, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Now the one and one pitch is a breaking ball in off the plate. Well, this Yankee ball club entering play this afternoon here. They have certainly had it going lately. Winners of eight in a row. Yeah, Matty V. And you know one thing you don't want to do here, D-Row? You've been on some good teams. Not to lose focus at this point of the year. To keep the big picture in sight. Because there is a postseason lurking. And it's so easy to get ahead of yourselves and not take the rest of the schedule serious. I think the nice thing for this team is that they won the division. They will for whatever happens get a five game series it's not that one game wild card winner go home this team can prepare themselves to battle and try and win three out of five the 2-2 two -two. and this one's in the dirt the runners will hold tight but it's a full count now three and two. First and second now one man out And he misses again, ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. At this rate, he's going to set some kind of a record for walks no issued in the game, or he'll get an early hook. We'll see if he can settle down here and start to find the strike zone, or if he continues to struggle. Ready now, Ralph Kiner. He went hitless last night in a game where his guys could push across only one score. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Bases are loaded here, one man out. And this misses, so it'll set up a big pitch coming up. It's full three and two. Michael Franco waits on deck. Payoff pitch on its way. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Catch will be made here. Tagging is the runner from third. And they're going to take a 1 0 lead as the run comes across to score. Obviously, he's that hoping for more up there with the, the bases loaded, point. but you can't Mike be Hill. too upset with the sack fly. Rocco.
Stepping in, Michael Franco. And the Pirates trying to make this first inning even more productive here. The set and the 1 1. In the dirt here. Runners may have thought about it, but they'll stay put, and the count moves to 2 and 1. Two and one, here it is. I don't think he can afford another base runner here, so whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. Ready with the payoff pitch to the left side, but it's well fouled. Two men are on with two men out. Hit hard to third. And that is through in the left field, the base hit. And they'll put the brakes on that runner at third, and that means the bases are loaded now with two away. He looked a little bit out in front that right there, seven. but he's able to pull the that catcher. ground ball through the hole Jay. for a single. Stepping in now, James McCann. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. The set and the 2 1. Good curveball there gets the swing and miss. Up to an even 30 pitches here in the first inning. Swing and a soft liner. Oh, and he just throws the glove up there and snares it for out number three. One in the inning for the Pirates on a couple of hits. We'll go on to the top of inning number two. Bucks out in front, 1 to nothing. Plate, Lou Gehrig watches fully in effect these days as he's potentially closing in on a historic triple crown. He leads all three categories. Winning the triple crown is really magical. Think about it. How many guys can hit for power, hit for average, and drive in runs? This guy's had a phenomenal season, and we're keeping our fingers crossed that he can win it. Four, and that misses for ball four, so it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. Yeah, and as a starter, the last thing you want to do that is let a team it. answer when your the guy's just scored a run for you. Three. So he's thinking ground Nine. ball right here to try to get Mattingly. a double play and end this threat. Don Mattingly will bat next. Two hits and eight tries for the series. Ready with two balls and a strike. Hard hit ball to second. And that finds its way through for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. You know, as a former the infielder, Danny, they always say you can't be in two places at yeah. once, but you got to be a little frustrated right here that ball found the hole. Yeah, that's a tough thing. You make a quality pitch, and a guy shoots one through the right side, normally a vacated spot right there. Nine out of ten times, somebody's there to make that play. Unfortunately, not. And now, we've got a couple of guys on. The one and two pitch. Swung on in the dirt, and that's a strikeout. So now two men in scoring position. Batting eight. The catcher, number nine. Go Torrey. Standing in, Joe Torrey. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Second and third here, one man out.
And this is popped foul off to the right and back into the seats. Today's contest is, of course, the finale of the series, and the Yankees have dominated so far. They've got the opportunity to complete the sweep with a win in this one. These teams don't match up all that often, but due to interleague, they get a chance to play this season, and it's really difficult to sweep a team in a three-game series when you don't play that team all that often. Good job there to put the ball on the ground and pick up the tying run. This one has the makings of being a close game until the very end. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Babe Ruth, runner in scoring position with Sugan. Just the second inning, but already 37 pitches to this point. And that misses off the plate and low, so it's three and one now. And guys, as we take a look at the Pirates coming into this afternoon, fair to say they're not playing their best baseball right now. Losers of five of their last six. Hey, this is a big one here, Matty. You know what, d -Row? They're about to head on a nine-game roadie. One thing they'd like to do, get on that plane feeling good about themselves and salvage the last game of the series. Yeah, Dan, they need to find a way to win this one today. Get on the flight. Makes everybody's dinner taste better. Nine-game road trip coming up. A lot of packing involved, a lot of grinding on the road. They need to find a way to win this last one at home. The payoff pitch. Lifted the other way to left center. Sharp is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Yankees forced to settle for one. On now to the bottom of the second. All tied at one and one. Last half of the second set to go, and next it'll be the outfielder, Chris Sharp. The 2 1 home. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. And one thing that would certainly help their cause in going for the sweep is if they can break out the big bats like they did yesterday. Several home runs in that ball game. It's not easy to hit home runs with this day and age with guys thrown with increased velocity. They were knocking the ball out of the ballpark all day yesterday. They'd like to save a couple of those and use them in this game today. And he takes ball four. Lead off man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. Man, when the game is tied, the last thing you can afford to do is walk the leadoff hitter. Got to focus on getting that ground ball now. So here now is the pitcher, Jamison Tyon. And we'll likely see him square around a bunt. The 1-1. One, one. And he'll try to bunt that man to second, but this one kicks foul. And it certainly helps when you're throwing your ace on the mound in the series finale. Can't ask for much more than that. One of the keys when you show up to the ballpark and you're going for a sweep, you look at that lineup card, you see your ace pitcher is on the mound. You have to feel awfully good about your chances right to complete the sweep. Yay! And that brings in the Cobra, Dave Parker. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Well, there's the, the great bat. equalizer, the changeup. El Cambio, Jeremy. listen. If you can keep that pitch Thank in your back God. pocket and pull it out when you need it, like he did right there, usually hitters, they don't stand a chance. So now to the plate, Jeremy Pena. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Runner aboard at first here with two gone in a 1-1 ball game. Swing and a ball in line down in the left field corner. But no one can get to this one as it's down for a foul ball inside the visitor's bullpen. And 
And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. The first base and this is the kind of eight. thing that's been happening to him really? all season long. He'll cruise Start for a goal. while, hitting his spots, and all of a sudden the wheels come off and he struggles. We'll see if he can recover here. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Hey, struggling to find the release point of that curveball. That wasn't a very good one. Somehow he's just got to find that field because that's a pitch he's going to need going forward. Two down, runners at first and second. And it's fouled away. Line drive. That's a base hit into the right center field gap. And the runner will score from second. He's in at second safely as they take the lead with two runs scoring on the play. You the simply cannot base. offer up a pitch like this to a hitter of this guy's magnitude, especially with runners on the bags. He makes a living off frozen ropes to the outfield like this, and that one drives in a pair. to the plate now Glaber Torres nope, and that ball misses ball. ball four so it's first and second now with two out so that's the second walk now he's bad. worked in this one yeah no that seems field. to be a popular approach well, when this guy steps in Geiger. he can really hurt you with one swing so I think the idea is mostly not to let this one guy beat you Matt digging in for his second at bat Ralph Kiner and we'll see what he can do here two on two away two home so far this inning Rounded down the third baseline, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. The Yanks do, of course, trail by a couple of runs already, so they're going to have to work from behind to earn the sweep. Sweeps aren't easy to do at this level, particularly with the competition being so stiff. They're down a couple of runs early, but there's... And he will get there as he had to cover a lot of ground to make that play, and that ends the inning. So two runs on just one base hit, no errors, and two left. We'll go now to the top of the third. Pirates lead it three to one. Now at the plate, Hannes Wagner, 0 for 1 here in the early going. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Yankee shortstop behind in the count one and two. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. On the ground to the right side. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. Nothing fires me up more than watching an offensive player stay Nevada, inside a baseball and drive it the other way. Robin. Into the box now, Robinson Cano. And the good fastball there finds the zone as the count goes full now, three and two. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Ready with the payoff pitch. That misses. So a single and a walk, and it's first and second with nobody out. Always tough to issue a free pass, but especially troublesome when you give up a single right before that to start the inning. We'll see if he can figure out a way to wiggle out of this. Ready for another chance. Ted Williams swinging it well in the series so far at a 4 for 10 clip.
swing line drive that's going to be trouble Wagner is on his way home Cano rounds third and is digging for the plate and he's safe at the plate. We are knotted at three. Man, if I was on the mound, I would not let this guy hurt me. Now that he's been tearing the, the cover off the ball the entire Nick series, Nick. and he drives two Nick. more in right here. He is definitely a man on a mission, and he's making a huge impact. Into the box, Mickey Mantle popped him up. McCann is under it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. The right fielder, number four, Lou Gehrig. Digging in to try it again, Lou Gehrig. In eight at-bats in the series, he's collected three hits. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. The first baseman, number 23, Don. Two on here with one Mattingly. man out. And up steps Don Mattingly. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. And now a slider in on the hands, and he's lucky that one didn't come and get him having a hard time putting this hitter away here and when I was looking at the tape on him from his last start this is what I saw a lot of he's not closing the door on guys and and when that's the case they eventually get a pitch that they can do something with full count here here comes the pitch nope. and he misses again ball four and that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on balls two now ways to look at this walk if you're the hitting coach you say Eddie. that's a great AB down 0 2 and you work the walk but if you're a pitcher like me that's just a case of letting a guy off the hook and that can really frustrate you now with the plate Eddie Matthews he looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound he's getting paid to try and get you out as well anytime it gets up there North of seven, eight pitch ABs. Sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Another full count pitch home. And he fouls this one off. Bases are loaded with only one out. Fouled off. A payoff pitch one more time. Fouled away. Fouls this one off. Hey, five foul balls in a row. Loving the battle in the box right here. Making the pitcher work. Another full count pitch home. Freezes him. A strikeout looking. Now batting. The catcher. Standing in. Joe, Joe. Torrey. 0 for 1 with a run batted in thus far. in there and it's full three and two this is the cat and mouse of today's game three one almost definitely bought you that fastball and he took it interested to see if this pitcher goes to that well again fear of bases being low. high in the air carrying well out to deep center one run scores a leap but this is out of reach and off the wall and the run will score all the way from first now a six three game 
now batting. Hey, talking about the having pitcher. a quality game, hey. D-Row, with that base hit right hmm. there, that go-ahead RBI, that's his fourth run batted into the game. I'm going to tell you what he's thinking right now, Dan. Bullpen, don't blow this for me because I'm getting my name in the paper and I'm getting interviewed big time after this one. At the plate now, Babe Ruth. Ball two. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. These guys hitting aren't in first place by accident. They excel at getting out the early lead, so this is a big moment in this game. If they're able to lengthen this lead any more in this inning, they're going to be in really good shape to come away with a win today. Now the Bambino sends one to deep right. Lots of carry on this one. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. The Babe with a two-run home run. Home run number two for him on the year as they open it up to eight to three. Not every home run is exactly the same. That ball was absolutely destroyed. Your Steven Shipman is going to come on now, to pitch here, and in the just the third three. inning, you have to think Number he'll be six. asked to eat some innings. Steven Shipman. In now, Hannes Wagner. Hit on the ground to short. And it's in time at first, and finally, at long last, this side is retired. The final damage here, 10 come to the plate, 7 run score. We'll head now to the home half of inning number 3. The Yankees are out in front, 8-3. to three. Back alongside Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, as Michael Franco gets set to start out the inning. Set to deliver on two and one. Clearly off with his timing on that one, a swinging strike. Now a curveball misses inside. Three two pitch. High in the air down the right field line. Right fielder is on the run. He's there and records the first out. And with now one away, time for a quick it. check of the standings, and it'll show you that these guys Mark have the division man. race all sewn up as they look forward to baseball in October. Striding into the box, James McCann hit it hard but lined out in his first at-bat. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last A.B. He hit that ball on the screws. Fastball taken inside for a ball. Two and one now. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. The 3-1. Grounded up the first baseline. But this will wind up foul as he runs the count full now. The 3-2 pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Williams is there. He hauls it in without any trouble. And there are two away. 
Well, now it's still better. early, but better it's also fielder. worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. So the next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Chris Sharp. He worked a walk and came around to score in his first trip in this game. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. And a half swing here, but he pretty clearly went around, and it's one and two now. Bases are empty here with two men out. And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Pirates. Can't make any headway into an 8-3 deficit. Digging in once again, Robinson Cano as we begin the top of the fourth. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. Hmm, got caught lunging there as this one's fouled away. Again, a 1-2. And he can't get out of the way there. So the leadoff man will be aboard to open up the inning. Up next for the Yankees. The left at the plate, Ted Williams, and who drove in two Williams. runs on a double in his last at-bat. And he's got to build off that last A-B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at-bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. The one two. Oh, well, that's out. A runner at first with no outs here. Hit back up the middle. Scooped up. Torres hit the bag. On to first to complete the double play. The center fielder, number seven, Mickey Mantle. Striding forward now, the Yankee cleanup hitter, Mickey Mantle. No one on base for him after the double play. Yeah, Matt, that two ball really changed the complexion of this inning. It looked like the middle of the order was going to have a chance to get a big hit with some ducks on the pond, but now they just have to try and get a two-out rally started. Pops this one up. Franco is there for it. And that ends the inning. The Yanks held in check, but they lead it by a count of eight to three. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth and set to stand in as the rookie pitcher, Stephen Shipman. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Pirates pitcher at the plate with a one and two count. The one two. Checked his swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire. Ball two. The 2-2. Two -two. Ground ball sent back up the middle. He's got it. And the throw stretches him out at first as the umpire says he stayed on the bag. A bang-bang play there for the first down. Parker. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Dave Parker, one for two. He singled and struck out in two trips. Now the one and one pitch. Two balls, one strike. 
Three runs, three hits, and no errors so far for the Pirates. Lined is short, but gobbled up there, and there are two away. Up next for Pittsburgh, the shortstop, Jeremy Peña. Ready once again, Jeremy Pena. And it's fouled away. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. And he can't pick it up. That ought to go down as an infield single. Throw into second. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. One hit in the inning, but no one left. On to the top of inning number five we go. The Yankees lead this one 8-3. to three. Ready for another shot now, Lou Gehrig. And if you didn't know, he was recently awarded the American League Player of the Month Award. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Three and one. They know the threat this guy possesses at the plate. I know it's 3-1 in this situation right here, but I can't imagine anything comes over the heart of the plate. Hit hard on the ground to second. And a reach to his backhand side at second, but this finds a way by. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front the shoulder in, kept his hands three. inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. Not if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball's going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. Stepping in now, Don Mattingly. Swing and a liner. And that's in there. Base hit. Boy, it's so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside half of the plate right there. Try to bust him in, d row and he fights it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like. A knock's a knock. One and two now as that one's fouled off. From the belt, kicks and deals. I got to count two and two. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. Fouled off. And another foul ball. First and second here with nobody out. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. These are the kind of ABs, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. Fouled away. Locked in a good battle. Here comes another hey. one. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. And with strike three recorded there, he's notched his first career nine. major league strikeout. No. Well, Matt, if he can become a consistent strikeout pitcher, you have to figure his career is going to end up being a solid one. All the best pitchers at this level have at least one pitch that they can go into in tough situations. So we'll see if he becomes one of those guys as his career goes along. Next for New York, Joe Torre. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. Two balls, two strikes to Joe Torre. Eight runs, just seven hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Changeup laid off down around the shins. 
For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Swing and a little blooper to center. Here's the center fielder, and he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. Now batting. The pitcher, Babe Ruth. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Babe Ruth. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Yeah, man, this guy flexed his muscles in that last at bat. We heard that he has good power. That last bomb had to go well over 400 feet. He hit it a long way. Kiner will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Yanks strand a pair, but they lead it by a count of eight to three. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And next to bat will be the first baseman, Willie Stargell. The 1-1. One, one. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Mantle is under it, and there's one gone. Now batting, the second baseman, Waver Torres. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. It was a walk in his last trip. One out, nobody on. All even now, two and two. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. And that is a foul ball, just missing extra bases deep in the corner. Here now, the two two. On the ground to third. And a base hit as that's in the left, and they've got themselves a base runner. Boy, after that base knock right there, D-Roll, he extends now his hitting streak to seven field. games. Yeah, and you can tell he's made some necessary Kiner. adjustments at the plate. Anytime you're getting a knock every day of the week, you're doing things right. He's keeping that front shoulder tough, staying inside the ball, not. And a sliding attempt at first, but this sneaks by him a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two now aboard batting. now. Third base I don't know what side of the right fence there. I fall on, boys. Old Let's school, go. new school. I think I kind of stand right along that fence. But one thing that gets me jacked up is watching guys grind down in the count and drive base hits the other way. Now a 58-foot yep. curveball that misses for a ball. Double-barreled action in the Yankee bullpen now. A lefty and a right-hander start to get loose. Runners are at first and second with one away. Franco ahead with a three and one count now. I love the approach out on the mound. Everything's down in the zone as it should be, but now you find yourself in a three one count. Do you elevate a little bit more and get back in this zone, or do you just pitch around them? Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Takes this the other way to right. That's in there. Base hit. Boy, there's a bullet base hit right there, but you have to hold the there, D-Roll, to make sure that gets down and isn't yeah. caught for a line drive double play. Yeah, but you have to damn. play the game right there and respect the infield and respect the line drive. I know he wants to get a ribby for his buddy, but that's the way the game's played. Hops this one up. Here comes Mantle on for it. One run is scored. And now this is thrown wildly, just getting it into the infield. And the runner scores from second as they cut away into that deficit here. That makes no it an 8-5 ball game. Sharp. So now to the plate, Chris Sharp. 
Easy there, big fella. Two and two. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. Grounded back up the middle. One there. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. So two runs on four hits, no errors, and a runner left. We're through five here at the ballpark. It's the Yankees eight and the Pirates five. Ladies Kyle Ryan takes over to start the please. sixth inning on the mound. Now pitching for the Pirates, number 56, Kyle Ryan. New inning set to get underway, and stepping in is the veteran shortstop, Hannes Wagner. One one home is swung on and missed for strike number two. The one two is looked at for ball number two. Now it looks like a right hander's up and throwing in the Pittsburgh bullpen. Ball three. Three and two now. And just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. Count is full. Here's the pitch. Fouls this one off. Another full count pitch home. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Kiner's there. One out. The batter, number 24, second baseman, Robinson. Cano. So digging in now, Robinson Cano. He was drilled by a pitch his last time up. Yeah, Matty, you're not lying. Last time up, squared right in the back. Hopefully it doesn't stiffen up. I want to see if he can get through something right here. And this one is over, and he works the count back to two and two. Bases are empty, one man out. Drilled to the right side. And that'll find its way into right field for a one out single. The left fielder, number nine, Ted Williams. At the plate, Ted Williams. Two and one to Ted Williams now. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. Down the first baseline. He'll go to the bag for one. Throw back to second, and they've got him doubled off, and the inning is over. One hit in the inning, but that gets erased. Nine, one, and two scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. It's the Yankees eight, and the Pirates five. Your Catfish Hunter please. enters to do the pitching now in the bottom of the four. sixth. Number 27, Catfish Hunter. Keep Ryan Hayes is going to come off the bench as he'll be asked to lead Keith off the Ryan. bottom of inning number six. Hey.
And he misses two and one. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up. Can't connect there. It's two and two. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Another strikeout for him on the mound. And boy, is it fun to watch him go I'll about his business. Ah, no right doubt, Matty. He's one of my Yay. favorites, mostly because of his stuff. Parker. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. To the plate now, Dave Parker. Hard hit ball to second. Speared on the dive. It's there. He got him. Now batted. Shortstop. Jeremy. Pena. Stepping into the box. Jeremy Pena. He was thrown out at second trying to stretch a base hit into a double in his last at bat. Yeah, I'm not sure what they saw right there. Maybe the first base coach was giving him the green light to go ahead and go to second base, but obviously it didn't work out in that situation. It did take a good throw to get him, though. Hunter is a reliever known for forcing contact. Not a huge strikeout guy most of the time, but he also doesn't issue a lot of free passes either. There's a couple of keys to being a good reliever. One, if you have great stuff and you strike everybody out, or like this guy, not afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. He has good stuff, not great stuff. He's not afraid to let his defense help him out and make some plays. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside three and two. Not a time to fool around right now on a three-two count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Now the payoff pitch home. And this one misses inside a ball he walked him, and they've got themselves a two-out base runner. Well, he gives up the walk, but that was a really good pitch. Might have been just out of the zone, but not by much. A lot of guys would have gone fishing for that pitch, so sometimes the hitter just outlasts you. Settling in now, Willie Stargell. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Both teams with eight hits in this one. Pitch out. Nothing doing. Aye. Over at the knees, and that's the second strike. <laughs> Here now the 2-2. Two, two. We got 3-2. Three 3-2, two. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Catfish comes set. Here it comes. Three. Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulder. Side retired. Pirates leave one. Still looking up at an 8-5 deficit. Your Sal Romano is on to pitch from now, the bullpen now to start five. inning number seven. Number 47. Sal Romano. Mickey Mantle will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. The 2-2. Two -two. Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. Three and two to the Yankee center fielder. Now the three and two pitch.
This is hit the other way out toward left field. Kiner's there. He's got it one away. Now batting, the right fielder, Lou Gehrig. Into the box, Lou Gehrig. He singled his last time up. And a slider gets away from him here as it just about got him in the ankle. He takes it to the opposite field, high and deep to left. Looking up is Kiner, and it's gone as they add still another. A solo shot here to left, so he creeps ever closer to triple digits as they open up a four-run lead. One more time. He gets a pitch to handle. You have heard that before, and you can add one more home run onto this already impressive number. Standing in now, Don Mattingly. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees' first baseman. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. We all know this guy is a great hitter in a 3-1 count. This is just what he's looking for. He loves to hit when the count's in his favor like this. But quick hands over there at third as he takes it for the second out. Now batting, the third baseman, Eddie Matthews. Digging in now, Eddie Matthews. It was a backwards K, a strikeout looking for him in his last at bat. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Popped him up. Franco in foul ground. Oh, he brought it back. Ladies and gentlemen, he ain't able to add on one more via the solo home run. Right. Bottom of the seventh inning coming up. Get up and stretch. It's the Yankees nine and the Pirates five. Last half of the seventh here, and that'll bring up Glaber Torres. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Now the 2-1. And a ball popped foul to the right side, out of play. And he takes strike three called on the fastball, one gone. Now back Up next for the Buckos, Ralph Kiner. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Yanked on the ground down the line. Throw gets him two down. The third baseman, number seven, Michael Franco. Now in the box, Michael Franco. Last time through was a base hit. Two out, nobody on. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Down in order go the Pirates. They could use a good cup of ambition. It's 9-5. to five. Joe Kelly has been summoned from the...